गाइस दिस इज जतिन फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग ज्ञान सो आई एम बैक विद अनदर अमेजिंग लोकेटेड टेक्निक दैट इज सीएसएस सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट सीएसएस इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो गाइस टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आईडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट नेम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्लास नेम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टैग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्सपाथ बट देयर इज वन मोर लोकेटेड टेक्निक व्हिच इज वाइडली यूज्ड इन ऑटोमेशन दैट इज सीएसएस so via css selector also you can locate the element on the web page let's understand what css is so css selector in selenium are the string pattern used to identify an element based on the combination of html tag id class and attributes let's see the syntax of uh, css selectors so for tag and id css selector is tag and then hash id for tag and class if you want to use tag and class then that is tag dot class uh, class name for tag and attribute it is your tag name square bracket attribute is equals to value so this is kind of similar to xpath just that there is no forward slashes there is no at the rate so for tag class and attribute it is tag dot class and then square bracket attribute equals to uh, value and square bracket close and if you want to use inner text then at it is tag colon contains and in contains inner text so let's see in uh, selenium that how we can use this let me go back to my eclipse so here i am in eclipse so i have written all the syntax over here for your references so let me comment this or delete this and let's launch our website so website is launched let's say i have to locate this i'll inspect this one go over here so uh, there is no class name and there is no id so in this kind of situation we can use uh, this tag and attribute one wherein a uh, tag will and then attribute is equal to value so let me write uh, for that we'll do control f here tag is input so i'll write input attribute what i want to use is name and then value is username so here you can see it is locating the element let me see if any of the element over here has uh, id or class otherwise we'll go to yahoo I don't think so. Let me let me go back to Yahoo. So let's open Yahoo. here you can see it has class as well as id perfect so let me see the first type where is i can use tag and id then it will be if i copy this id and tag is input over here input and then hash and then id so you can see it is correctly locating the element let's use class name instead of id now then tag name underscore vip underscore fupma and instead of hash i'll type dot you can see this one is also locating the correct element let we have already seen this tag attribute and value let's see this tag class and attribute now wherein i can use tag dot class and then square braces attribute is equals to value and now for attribute let me use name name is equals to p so guys this is also locating the element let let me use this one driver dot find element by dot css selector dot send keys hello Let's run this. Let me close this one. So 
so as you can see over here it it has executed successfully it found find the element with the locator which we gave so guys that's all for locators i hope uh, now you can write your own xpath and your own css the only thing i want you guys to do is just keep on practicing this because as much as you practice then only you will become uh, good at writing good xpath and good css selector thank you